again, DataLogic, for letting us uh, organize this webinar together. Uh, it really means a lot uh, to us since we've been all working together in, in some areas. Uh, and today it's going to be one of these, of these areas. Uh, so we will talk about Calypso Studio, in this case, the voice edition. So as the name refers, this edition of Calypso is focused on, on mobile apps integrating voice systems. And, and it's quite perfect for companies who need to implement such processes in, in their daily routines. Um, I believe that some questions will appear during the session uh, and you can ask them in the, in the chat that is provided. You, you have the chat in the, in, the part, in the down part of the window, in the, in the, below, in the below the window. Um, and you can ask anything you you wish any any question that you you have during the session uh, we're gonna um, answer all the questions in the end in the in the question and answer moment which which is going to be in the end of the demo um and i will let you all now with arsenio uh, arsenio is the ceo of sysdev the company which owns calypso uh, we, we work with sysdev uh and we and works with calypso he works with calypso since its very first beginning so uh, he's the perfect person to talk uh, with you about it. Uh, enjoy the session, and I will meet you all in the question and answer in the end. Hello, Arsenio. Hi, Joao. Good morning, how are you, man? Everything OK? Good morning. Hey, thanks all for uh, being with us with this new this webinar. Like Joao has told you, uh, um, this webinar will be about Calypso Voice, okay? And for that, I want to, I go to share my screen to show you on a, to present you on a small presentation. And after that, we go to create an app um, process using voice. You go to see it's quite easy to use. Let me share my screen. One moment, okay. Okay. You see, you can see my screen. Joao, it's okay? Joao? It's okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Let's open um, a small presentation about Calypso. Okay. Uh, and um, I want to, I got to repeat something we have um, present, we have presented last, last webinar regarding Calypso standard without the voice edition. Only to remember you, okay? Um, but only remember you that we are 100% um, specialized on mobility, okay? There are 25, 26 now, and um, we are really focused on mobility only, okay? Um, and of course, we are ISV, that logic ISVs, and really also we work together. Uh, with uh, with data logic to test their own equipment and check if everything is okay with colleagues of platforms in order that when the device arrives in the market everything is tested and working well okay and and again our typical users are like you guys are integrators WMS or RP integrators our hardware resellers, um, we have several customers and users with their own IT department, okay, that they are using Calypso and Calypso Voice to create, to digitalize all, all of the process, okay, indoor or outdoor, okay, using mobile devices, okay. And again, what is Calypso, okay? I need to remember you, it's a low code platform. That means really you can create, um, in a fast and simple way, applications, okay? Deploy it for your, to your own device. And you don't need to be an experienced programmer. If you know the basics of databases and the basic of like a condition, like if condition, okay? And uh, yes, you can start creating apps, okay? But if you are an um, experienced programmer, a programmer expert, also it's good for you that, uh, gives you more time to do more projects, okay? And uh, of course, Calypso is a multi operating system platform. That means you design the application one time and you can deploy it without, with 
without any changes for different um, operating systems like Android, iOS, Windows 10. And we, we still support um, in this version Windows Mobile and Windows C. That means if you still have some devices with mobile in C, you can deploy it, okay? Uh, the application for those devices, okay? Uh, okay, regarding, again, uh, about some of the technologies you can find in Calypso, okay? It, 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 regarding database connections, you can create applications that are working online or offline using ODBC or ODB connectors for virtually any kind of database, okay? And also you can create applications that are working offline. You can you can synchronize the, the data with the, your backends, okay? But of course, you can use also web services like uh, SOAP or REST using XML or JSON, okay? And you can use, you can create apps using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, virtually, any kind of um, communications um, available in the market, okay? In terms of data acquisition, okay, of, of course, you will go to see voice, how voice works, but you can use barcodes in a native way, RFID beacons, photos, signatures, a, a lot of NFC, a lot of technologies are included on Calypso that you just drag it and use it, okay? You don't need to type complex code and lots of, lots of code, okay? And also you can print, you can design, in Calypso you can not only design your screens, your forms, okay, but also you can design your reports or labels and print through a device to a mobile printer or fixed printer, a ticket or um, invoice or order or, or a label if you want, okay? And on top of that, you, you have a, a lot of other functionalities that you can use, really just drag it and use it, like you can control sensors, can use push notifications, OCR, parsing GSM barcodes, you can use GPS or GPIO when you need to control inputs, outputs in some kind of, of devices, okay? But it's, uh, it's only some of the features you can find in Calypso, okay? Regarding voice, okay, for us, voice is another way of input and output data, okay? It's like, like you go to see, it's quite easy to, to, to work with them and set up application with Calypso Voice, okay? And also, it's important that um, you don't need to have um, specific or dedicated hardware for that. You can use data logic devices, headset from Jabra or VXI or whatever, Bluetooth or, or with cable, okay? And everything is processed on the device. You don't need to have a specific device for that. And also, if you have multimodal application, you can use, for example, the new, um, the new world scanner from um, Datalogic, okay? In some times, it's quite important to have multimodal applications. You can combine voice and a barcode reader for example, okay? And also, also voice um, is a speaker independent solution. That means you don't need to train your users to recognize different accents or dialects, okay? But if you want, you can, okay? But normally you don't need it. That means um, it, it's really reduced the training times if you need it, okay? like some other other products in the market you need to, for each user, like create a profile and training each word, okay, in Calypso, because the voice engines are speaking independent, okay, they don't need, it's up to the engine or the, or the voice engine to do that, okay. Like I've told you, you it's quite easy to create multimodal, multimodal data capture solutions, like uh, mixing uh, voice with barcodes or FID or others, okay. It's up to you. Of course, you can create applications just using voice if you want, if you don't need more. But sometimes you need to use voice combined with kind of other technologies, normally barcode, for example, when you need to read, um, I don't know, logs or serial number, okay? Sometimes you, it's much better to have 
a device like that connected to my device okay you can receive the the tasks by voice and you can confirm by voice but when you need to read um, I don't know, a serial number or what okay you can just read it and everything is working great okay and we list all, all, all the engine of voices on the device okay you don't need to when you speak you don't need to a server to return the answer or validate information no okay everything is on the device that means it's quite fast okay and you are not dependent for the quality of the network okay but better than than uh, uh powerpoint is how we can create an app using calypso voice okay let me stop the presentation okay let me open my calypso platform and what we go to we, what i go go to do is to open the, the the last application we have created in the previous webinar okay if you remember we have created an application using um, picking application in the barcode okay let's open here that was webinar in july and let's add um voice um, process okay only to show you to remember you able to share my screen this is the application we have created last time okay let's put here just only deploy it here on my device and to remember you okay it's up and installing on my sorry my device okay down here okay like you can see let's put here one okay one i'm connected against uh, in this case a uh, sql server database okay you can use oidb or you can use any kind of database database or you can use web service instead of direct connection okay all right welcome john smith like you see you can see my task my tasks okay and okay it's the last application we have done okay let's put here Barcos here. This is here for okay. Quantity two. Enter. Can okay, get this done. Okay. Okay. What we want to do today is to create a new process. Okay. Let's minimize that. Let's open clips again. Okay. It's create a process for using voice. Okay. Of course, you can create applications without any screen if you want. I'm creating a screen only to show you how to do that okay okay let's uh, start uh from the first step it's go to here in project properties okay go to voice here tell the system i want to use tts text of speech engine and i want to use also automatic speech recognition the engine that recognize what you are saying okay and go to settings and define first the language you want to use on your application, English, okay? But you can use different languages, okay? And if your language is not here, please contact us and you can check it, okay? And American English, you can choose from a male or female voice, okay? Go to tab words and let's type here the vocal commands, commands available for users, for example. I want one common, it's repeat. Great. Another common, it's um, edit. You can create your all vocal commands, okay, here. That this is what the user can say, okay, in, in the process, okay. Save. Of course, you can create other things like shares uh, how you spell a b c d you can define some settings confirmation other things for now it's more than enough that okay let's put save now it's okay nothing more I needed, okay okay in this first screen okay like you uh, you have seen when i click login here okay appears a message with the name of the user in this case i want to change that i want to when i click here i go to my code actions if you can see i will then select it's incorrect user if uh, the user is found okay it's okay we 
put a message, welcome, Mr. Okay. It's a content of variable that contains a name. Okay. I change that to, to, um, to voice. Okay. In this case, I go to comment this code here okay. and I go to here voice. I go to use uh, text of speech voice message. Okay. And I want to put here correct user. Okay. Great. And here, let's put here. And here, I want to do that comments, voice message. You can just type what you want. Okay. Let's put here. Welcome. And the content of a variable. It, when, if you remember that session, previous session, we have done a, a, a select from the table to return the name of the user to this tiver. Okay, we go here plus the contents of the temporary variable. Of course, you can, um, you can, and it's, 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 it's good to do that. Uh, you can name and give names to the variables, okay, of course, okay, but don't that. Save, and let's test this application, okay, here, let's put here, okay. Test on device. Oh, sorry. Let's put the application on my device. Uh, they are installing now on my, in this case, it's a memory pen I have with me. Okay. Let's put uh, that here. Right. Okay. Okay. Now I have my, okay. Device here. Okay. Correct. Let's put the username and password. If you click login, like you can see, okay, what we put the system speak, put the system speaking, it's quite easy to do. Just use um, um, action that is voice message text to speech. Okay, here, okay, what you want to do if you spell it or not, okay, it's quite easy to. To do that, okay. Okay, let's um, do. Let's create the a process for voice speaking where I want to the system to to say to the user go to location X, pick three bottles of Coca Cola, for example. Okay, and the users, the user can can um, say repeat, exit, or or, or whatever other words we define in our in our process. And um, and the quantity. Okay. For that, let's create a new form here. Okay. Okay. Let's create this one here. Like a basic one. Okay. Right. Get give a name to the not basic the name, but let's give a name like form voice process. Okay. Let's put here, change that. Let's put here on voice speaking. Okay. Let's build our screen. Okay. Let's take off that. Let's just set the button here. Only. Okay. Like exit. And when I click on this button, okay, I want to close my process. Okay. For example, okay. actions. Let's go to forms. Okay, and use an action is closed for when I click on this button I just created and give a name to the button, not button one, button exit, for example. It's much more. Okay, like this. Now, what I want to do is put here like a label, like label ask ID. Okay, All right. I'm put this like that. Put here. Sorry, let's put, change the properties of that. Let's put your bolts in the left. Let's put this like uh, other color. Okay. Let's put the fields like text only to show. Let's put here okay. inputs. Um, task ID. Okay. 
it's a numeric fields, okay, and this uh, state is we don't need to. I need to show you on the screen. Okay, let's put here. Okay, let's put here like that. Okay, great. And let's copy this and this. Copy past. Let's put here something like location. Location. And just putting something on the screen. Okay, you can use variables. You don't need to, to have a screen also for voice process, but I need to show you. Okay. Let's put the input uh, location ID. Okay, let's put here one of that. Okay, best. Put here. Product. Okay, product. Okay. And let's take this this field that will be product ID. I want to show also so we pass on that the description. Okay, product input product on description. Okay. And let's put here another this one, okay. The best. Let's pick that quantity, for example. Oh, no. Quantity. Okay. Put your input quantity. You can design like you want. Okay. Okay. I'm just putting that only to the more book. Okay. And here, for example, units. Okay. Great. Right now, I want what I want to do. Uh, what I think it's go to my first screen menu here. When I click here, for example, I change that for other thing. Okay, double click. You can just go here. You can add another icon. Just go here if you want. Okay, and choose the icon you want. Okay, let's put this one. Okay, for example. Okay. You can use your own icons, or you can here you have icons. You have uh, several icon, icon sets, okay. And good on calypso, they are free for use, okay, without any problem, okay. But uh, they change the name also, okay. Here, so it's picking. Okay. Right. That means what I want when I click here, I want to open the screen. To click here, actions like here. Show form, okay. Show form the screen voice process, okay. Right now it's done. Let's minimize that, minimize that, okay. And here, what I want is um, to create the functions that returns for me the next task and and speak to the to the user, okay. For example, go to location, the content of that, pick for units of product x okay let's for that let's create a function but that uh, retrieves the next record okay for that let's create on here to click on the screen let's create what we call local action set it's a function that we can call it from any part of in this form let's go ads let's put local action set next record okay and here we go to put the codes. And what we want to do is select the next available records to to show to the user. Okay. For that, let's go to database. Let's select. Select what? Select from table voice tasks. Let's put here the task ID. I want to put task ID on the fields here. Let's see, remember task ID plus. I want to return the location ID. Put this on input location ID. I want to return uh, product uh, code put it on input product ID. Okay. Can be input or can be labels or whatever you want. Okay. So it's put on product description on the field, product description inputs. Okay. 
and another is quantity quantity on fields quantity and another one is uh, quantity units okay they put this on field product and, okay take a roll do six okay next in which conditions when for example the quantity okay order okay it's greater than quantity do okay the picket quantity for example okay and if, now it's okay I've, we have selected and now just go to do another thing it's for its message Prepare a message here. For example, go to location plus sorry, the content of the input occasionally. Right? Okay. And I want to location be spelled with letter by letter or number by number, like B0101. Okay. Yes. That's great. And after that, I want to voice message, for example, pick, put here, greater, pick, quantity, for example, four of four, let's put here, pick. The quantity plus the units, for example, okay, plus the units, okay, where is it? Yes. Plus of the product description. Okay. That means the system will spell me pick, for example, four units of Coca Cola, okay. No. And no. Correct. And great. Great. Let's check. Let's put another button here. One way for one thing. Okay. Oh, let's check if it's work. Okay. But on this screen, okay. When I open the screen, okay, I want to is good. The Action set of the schedule next week or okay. okay. Let's check if this works. And after that, let's do the other, the, the rest. Okay. All right. Test. Yeah. So it's now uh, creating the app. Okay, great. Okay, you see on my device, you go to see appearing. Okay, great. Okay, let's put here one user. You, you can spell it, but it's not good to spell the password, but you can just read the barcode or verify any tag, NFC, whatever. Okay. Welcome, John Smith. Let me check one thing because if I don't know if my database have available records, in this case, it's called zero. Let me check it in order to continue testing this process here. Okay, let's, oops, sorry. Okay, I check my table because I have done some tests before and I know if I have, I have available tasks or not. But one second and we can see that. Okay. Let's go here to my place here. My table voice tasks. And that's it. Now everything is done. Let's put here. Okay. No, no, like that. We have tasks. Okay. Let's minimize that. And here, if I click on voice speaking. Oh. I've done something. I have done something wrong here, but check it here. Of course, I have done something wrong here. Okay. 
Let's go here, location sets. Ah, okay. I have put this to spell with G O T O. That means we must split this into uh, two actions. One is go to location. This one spell it. Okay. After that, go to on with the 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 location. Okay. Correct. Here we said we got to say. Um, letter by letter or number by number, and here, no, okay. sorry for that. Let's test again. Android test. Okay. It's generating the project, and like, like that, we can test. Like you see, you can see the, the records here. Great. Okay. Okay, here one. That's for one. Okay, login. Malcolm John Smith. Let's click on voice speaking. Go to location B zero one zero one eight four boxes for me and your brother. Okay, like you can see, it's quite easy to put the system. Um, I forget to, to do that. Put the system. Um, saying to you the next task, okay, on with that, okay. But what we want is okay, if I if I say exit here, I want to close my form. If I say repeat, I want the system to repeat the last message. And if if I say uh, a quantity, I want to check if the quantity is the expected quantity or not. If it is, I want to update this record and go to the method the other. Okay, how we do that? Okay, on this screen, just to be quick, go to actions where you put your code. Okay, let's add some events here. Okay, that means on this screen, if I say repeat, I want to repeat. If I say a number, I want to say something to do something. Okay, let's go here at events, uh, voice events. Like you can see, we have here our available comments, the same as we have defined in our project, and also we have voice number mass buttons. Okay, and just add events here. Okay, if I say Calypso on this screen, what I want to do, I want to close my form, okay, or close my project. Okay, just go here, close form, you can, or you can type, okay? just drag it. Okay? Okay. If I say repeat, I want to repeat last voice message. It can be the content of a variable, or can be uh, you can use a specific uh, action. So your voice here. Let's repeat last voice message. Okay. Right. And if I say a number, I want to compare uh, what um, what I have said with the uh, um, with the, um, the, the expected quantity, okay? Okay, let's start here with the beginning. We have added, um, events. We must do one thing is activate the voice recognition here, and I open, and I want to put everything I say in the variable, let us see a variable one, okay, in line voice, okay? Correct. Everything will be stored in this. When I say something, will be stored this on this variable. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. And let's put your other thing is set recognition. Define from now. You can use these keywords. You can just say numbers. Okay. Let's put your nine modes. Maximum is three five. That means you can. You, you can change this everywhere in the process. Sometimes, if you are on, in one field, you can just use this action, set recognition. Set recognition to tell into the system, okay, what you can say from now, okay? That means it can be really dynamic, okay? Sometimes you can say repeat or exit or okay or not. It's up to you, okay? And also, I want to use a confirmation word here. For example, okay. That means every say every time I say a number, okay, I want to confirm with okay. Like for example, four one okay or eight okay. Okay. Next, 
Okay, everything is okay. Great. And here, when that we activate the recognizer, everything is stored, everything I say is stored on the virus voice. If I say a number, this event will be triggered. Okay, let's do one thing. It's put here condition. If for example, the content of variable voice, okay, it's equal to expected quantity. What you want to do is update the records, update, update on my database records, table voice. I want to do quantity will be the content of the voice variable. Okay. Next, where when the task ID is equal to my input task ID, the field on the screen. Okay. And after that, let's is good again this for the next record let's put here okay if not okay if i say a different number i want to go its message okay example control right quantity right right and let's test it if this works okay like you see it's quite easy Define what you want to say, what is available to the user to say in this moment. Activate the recognizer. Store the content to what, what you, user say on this variable. Okay, and after that, add the events. Okay, voice events. If I say exit, close the form. If I say repeat, if I say a number, it's up to you. Okay, you can create as many vocal commands you want. Okay, and you can activate or deactivate. In different different processes okay great let's test it here test on device and race again let's check if it works oh so let's um, open here to, um, yeah let's, let's generate the process okay Okay, let's put here one. Oops, sorry. One, okay. Login. Welcome to Oxford. Let's go here, voice speaking. Go to location. B0101. Pick for a box of Korean water. Repeat. Repeat. Edit. Okay, I can see the system is responding for, for, to my vocal commands, and I, I, I'm not with headsets. Okay, so headsets, of course, is much better. Okay, let's go. Eight. Okay. Four. Okay. Three, okay. Exit. Like you can see, it's quite easy to to use voice with Calypso. I guess I told you in the beginning, for us, voice is another way of input and output. Okay. And for that, you have different pre build actions. Okay. Like in voice group. Where you can like, speech recognition profiles if you want to create a specific profile for the really, really different person with a really, really different accent. In uh, 99.9% .9 of the cases, you don't need to do to, to, to create a, a training profile for a person, but if you want, you can do it. Okay. But uh, like I've told you before, Calypso Voice, I, it, we use a um, speaker independent engine. That means independent of the accents, okay, of the person, the, this engine will adapt, okay, for the, the user accent, okay, automatically, okay? And after that, you can use voice message to, to say something. You can change dynamically also the volume, okay? of the headsets or the speed, okay? For example, if you, if I put here 75, for example, okay, you go to 
Okay. Okay. You can, it's normally the number of words per minute, I think. Okay. That's must put, you go to check it. Okay. To see what, what changes we are, we have done there. Okay. Okay. But these commands are all dynamic. You can adjust that, okay, the profile for each user if you want. It's up to you. Okay. Let's put here. Okay. Let's put here. Put user one. Password one. Login. Okay. Let's go to here for speaking. Repeat, repeat. As you see, it's much, much faster, okay? But I wanted to, I've done that, I wanted to show you that you can adjust, okay, for each user or whatever, okay? Uh, the speeds, the, 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 the speeds, uh, the speed of the TTS engine, or the volume, if you want, okay? Higher or lower, okay, let's put here 50. Also, you can activate something like uh, set echo, okay, in order to, to use it to have uh, feedback, okay. Let's put, you can put on off, okay. Let's put on again, test on device, you can see. Um, let's change this here on it. Do not are putting the password, okay. Every time I got to put here a uh, default value. One okay, that's a record. This is my organizing something like one, for example, it's much better like that. Like that, I don't need to type the user and password. Okay, next, let's put again, let's wait there. I'm installing the application on the device. But of course, you can create an APK and or a B now, okay, from Google from January. From Okay, let's put here. Okay. Welcome, John Smith. I click here, voice speaking. Go to the location B0405. Pick two units of Pepsi. Repeat. Repeat. Pick two units of Pepsi. Four, okay. Four. Incorrect quantity. Two, okay. Okay. C zero three zero three. Pick six box of pizza margarita. Like you can see, you can echo activate echo. That means everything the user say will be repeated for the system. Okay. Sometimes it's quite interesting to have a feedback of the system. Okay. And you, what you can do more a lot of things. That means you can, for example. Uh, analyze in our strength to analyze if the sign if you have too much noise or something like that you can um you can if you go to a customer it's far away from you and you know it's some kind of noising environment okay you can just go there uh create uh, create a wave with the uh, environment environment um, noise okay create a wave and when do you come back in the office, you can just start, in order to testing, start audio, okay? And um, every test will be done at your desk, like, like with the same environment if you are in the customer, okay? It means you can reproduce uh, the noisy environment of the customer uh, on your local test on your, at your office, okay? For that, you just, just create a wave file and use this action to start audio and stop audio, okay? When you are testing that, okay? But a lot of things you can do more, okay? With the Calypso, also you can create voice questions when you, when you think that, do you have say that? I mean, to confirm that you, have, you can create a lot of things with Calypso, okay? Like, um, like with, so, it's quite easy to, to use Calypso to create voice applications, based applications, okay? 
I think for for today it's um, it's uh, what we want to to show you guys. Are we we are really open to any question you have or well, any doubt so whatever. Okay, João, João, João Tiago. Hi. Sorry, it takes Hello. it takes some time for the for the microphone to start working again. That's okay. why we have this lagging. <laughs> Okay, but it, yeah, it, it also I think uh, it's it's quite easy to use to explain and use voice. Means uh, if we if we can do and create a process with voice and also introduction and also a PowerPoint in forty five minutes, I think you can do the same uh, creating your own apps. Okay, using voice uh, yes, engine. Yes. Yeah. It took us. It took us more or less one hour to to build the, the app from from the session before. So yeah. let's say one hour and a half, two hours maximum, and you can create an app like this one. And if Maybe you have so. access to the to the webinar, you can even try to to copy yeah. and then to add the the any new feature that you wish. So it's yeah. quite easy to do. And we, we uh, not only Calypso is easy to work. We also provided some resources that let you. Let you do it even faster. Um, Great. I know. Okay. Questions? We have here one question. Yeah. Um, and I remind everyone that if you if you wish to ask anything, uh, now it's the time. So we are here available to answer your questions. So for now we got one, and I will put it here for everyone to see. So okay. hey there, is there an uh, an additional license needed to enable voice applications using Calypso? Also, is there a list of devices that support voice, or does all devices support voice? Uh, okay, first, uh, Calypso is um, licensed in two ways. Okay, one is Calypso, Calypso Pro Edition, that every fit have every features except voice. Another is Calypso Voice Edition. It's the, the Pro version, means every features and voice. Okay, after that. When you have Calypso Edition, um, Voice Edition, uh, you can create your own apps. You can create apps without using voice or using voice. If you are using voice, okay, also you need a license for each device. Okay, it means the business model of um, Calypso Voice is you uh, you must have the Calypso Designer, okay, Voice Edition, and when you install on each device, okay, you you need to buy from us. Uh, runtime license okay it's mandatory that and the reason is like uh, all of the other companies okay that they're using voice um almost everybody works with the company that's named nuance it's the big, biggest company in the world they are creating voice algorithmics and of, of course we need to pay also a fee for per um, device okay if we pay we must charge you also um this license okay great and um if if they work on any device we have tested a lot of devices android based and works well okay and in this case i have a memor 10 with me and it works really well so we know companies are using like smaller devices okay it, it, it's related to android okay if it is android it normally works okay Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe we just advise to check the Android version and to to buy something which yeah. is more recent, so yeah. Yeah. so any incompatibilities don't happen. Yeah. Um, uh, we we don't have any any Wait, more, more questions. Everything is okay. Yeah. Um, I think we can wait one minute more to to see to see if if there are any questions. And I meanwhile, think, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm I'm gonna provide here a link to everyone so that you can, if you wish to to try Calypso Studio, it's really easy. You just need to to access to our to our website, fulfill a form, and we have a we have a free trial for everyone. So you can try for the for the time for the time you need, and it's for free. So uh, I'm just providing here a button so that everyone can. Okay. I think, uh, I think one thing is important more and more, uh, also with these pandemics, 
um, more and more companies are really willing to work to optimize the um, warehouses and process on uh, logistic areas. Okay, and more and more company are really using um, voice, also voice uh, applications that helps helps really the users to be more accurate and faster. Okay, and we have done really several projects this year with um, different part, different different partners in different parts of the world. Okay, different countries, and really they are really really happy uh, with the Calypso platform, and really happy with um, the way, easy way that Calypso allows them. To design their own process using voice or using a multimodal uh, application, for example, combined voice and barcode or voice with other things. Okay, correct. Uh, if, for example, if you want to use the glow from from data logic, of, of course, you can use with Calypso. You can just receive, the, um, for example, go to location. You can you can confirm by, vo by voice uh, that uh, check digit of the location. In order to confirm that you're in the correct place, the system can say you okay, pick three units of Coca-Cola, and also the system can tell you okay, read the barcode on uh, of the what of the product. Okay, it means you can combine different technologies, okay, uh, without any problem. And again, you don't need to have to create a screen like uh, if you don't need it. Because the user don't don't see the screen, the screen will be the mobile will be only listen and speak. But it's up to you. Create your application how you want. Okay, using only voice or mixing different technologies. Okay, uh, I think it's quite important uh, to, to to explain that. Okay, okay. Okay, great. No questions, okay. Uh, right. We got no more questions till now. Okay, uh, great. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is to, I'm gonna let you guys our email. Okay. So that if you have any question, if you wish to know anything technical related, uh, sales related, uh, just send us an email and we can we can help you. We can try to, to answer you and provide you the best answer possible, of course. Thanks a lot. Have, um, have a nice day and thanks Data Logic, thank you all for this webinar. Okay. Thank you very much, Data Logic, uh, for, yes. for letting us uh, access this platform and being able to talk with you guys. And well, stay safe and I hope to see you soon. Bye.